All right, so you just got your EcuTech in the mail. You want to start the tuning process. In this video, we're going to go over everything you need to know to start up the EcuTech tuning process, how to run through the software, how to flash a tune, and how to data log. Now this video is going to be on the more technical side. There's going to be a, a good amount of information to soak up. Just, there's going to be some buttons you have to press, but don't worry, we're going to walk you through it. I filmed the whole thing with Graham from how to set it up from start to finish uh, when we were getting this super tuned. So um, later on, you're going to see him walk you through it. So don't be afraid just because it's a little bit more complicated. Now, if at any point you get lost or something doesn't make sense, I'm going to leave a link down in the description to the EcuTech website. They have a ton of information. It is a really good resource. So if you have any questions, um, just go and check out Control F and search the question you're looking for. You're going to find the answer. All right, so the first step is getting the software for your laptop that you're going to need to connect your EcuTech with. And that's going to be Pro ECU. That's the name of the software. It's on the EcuTech website. I'll leave a link down in the description for that. Um, you're going to use that to unlock your ECU. You're going to use that to do data logs. You're going to to install ROM files on uh, your ECU. And if you're not familiar, ROM file is just basically a synonym for tune. Um, Gram the tuner is gonna send you a tune in a ROM file format. So when you hear Gram talk about ROM files, um, those are just the tunes that you're gonna get. So that's, that's, if you didn't know, now you do. So that's about all you need to get up to speed real quick before Gram starts walking through all the software process. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna hand it off to Gram and he's gonna show you how to set up your EcuTech. Okay, Are you ready? Yeah. Everything going? Okay. Here we go. So the process starts by getting Pro ECU installed. I'll assume that everybody already has at least that done. There's lots of ways to go and see how to do that. But once you've got Pro ECU on, you've got your dongle plugged in, you've got your um, flash cable plugged in to your car, then you're ready to go, okay? So first step is gonna be to turn the car on, but not just turn it on. There's kind of a, a mode you need to put these in when you're gonna be reading or flashing, and all it is is three, fast presses of the on button. Kind of puts into a diagnostic mode so it stays on. So it'll come on and then go into kind of a diagnostic mode. Won't really do anything special. Now you're ready to go here and click on tools. Detect vehicle. You'll see it runs through, it runs through a little process there and it identifies that we've got a BMW B58 vehicle. One of the first things you're gonna do if you've never tuned the vehicle and you need to get in there and tune it is you're going to attempt to unlock it. Now on most vehicles, you're gonna be able to do that just fine. It is possible to have a special newer ROM file on these cars that cannot be unlocked at this time using the EcuTech tool. If we run into that, we do have some processes to deal with that. It does involve, involve at this time taking out the ECU and shipping that to somebody to be unlocked on a bench basically. Once it comes back, you're ready to go. That's starting to be pretty common with newer vehicles. Some of the Porsches work that way. So just something to be aware of. But when you're ready to unlock the ECU for the first time, you'll choose ECU unlock tool. You'll hit okay. And then you can do a query on the ECU. This is gonna be one of your first steps before you actually do anything if you're working with us remotely. We're gonna to need to know what the calibration ID is, which if we look right here, you can see where it says calibration. There's several different numbers in here, but what we're after is the ECU calibration. It's gonna be a number that starts with four zeros and then has a series of numbers with some dashes after that. That's the important number to take a picture of, copy paste, get that to us somehow so that we know what kind of ROM file to send you and we kind of know how to instruct you to unlock it with the right ROM file. Then what we'll do is you will load a ROM. In this case, you know, we'll send you a ROM or you'll, have, you'll be able to choose a matching ROM at some point with EcuTech. You'll load that ROM and then you'll hit the unlock ECU button. That process can take 10 to 15 minutes. It's a pretty long process. You'll see it goes through some steps, but just stick with it. Do not turn your computer off. Do not unplug it. Do not bump it. Do not turn the car off. Don't open doors. Don't close doors. Don't do anything. Follow the instructions and let it do its, run its course. If something does happen, 
Generally, you can start the process over again and you should be okay. But if you do get stuck, that's where you'd want to call AccuTech for support. So that's the unlock process. Now, this ECU is already unlocked, so we don't have to do this. We're not going to do that today. We're going to move on to the next step where you will be installing your tune file for the first time. That is under tools, detect vehicle again, and then program engine ECU. This is your little interface tool to be able to basically tune the ECU. So in here, we're going to choose a ROM file. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show the example of flashing a stock ROM file back to the ECU, because I've already got a tune file in here. I'm going to put it back to a stock ROM file. So again, important to make sure that the calibration ID matches. Some tuners, I think most tuners are probably going to be including the name of the ROM ID in the tune file name so that you can make sure you have the right one. But that isn't necessarily a given, but that's something that we will be doing. So choose your ROM file. And then you can also use the query ECU function in here to, to check the status of the ECU. You'll be able to see what your ECU version is. That should match what the unlock tool shows. And you can verify that you have a tuner license in the ECU. When you do the unlock process, that will put the license on the ECU. So in this case, we've selected our ROM. We're going to go ahead and program that ROM into the ECU using this button here. So away it goes. Again, during this process, don't turn anything off. Don't touch anything. Don't mess with anything. The car will beep. It will throw some errors. It will say drivetrain issues and things like that. Don't be alarmed. Just let it do its thing. And once it starts going, you will see a transfer data progress down there at the bottom. Usually the initial flash will take a decent amount of time to start. Once you do updates, it's going to go a little bit faster. Okay, and then it will tell you the programming sequence has been completed. You can hit OK at this point. You can also close the programming tool at this point. It is good to cycle the computer, the key on and off. So I'll turn it off and I'll turn it back on again. So now we've flashed the stock tune back into this car. And we're going to do some dyno runs here in a little bit to kind of show how the car sounds, how the car behaves with a stock ROM. And in this case, the car actually does have some modifications on it. It has a high flow catted downpipe and it has a cat back exhaust on it. So. But the next thing I want to show here is how the logging works. In order to log the car, you're actually going to go to file and you're going to go to open ROM file or under the recent ROM tab. Generally, you can find your tune file. You're going to open up your tune file and this is how you're actually going to log the car. With this open, first step is to have the car on. Engine can be running or not running. Hit the map access button. If it connects successfully, you'll see the green bar floating across the top and you'll notice that there's a little bit of movement in the data. Now, if the engine's running, you'll see more movement. If the engine's not running, obviously a lot of the values will be fixed, but that's how you know you're connected. When you're ready, if we ask you to do a data log for us, you'll use the log to file button right to the right of map access. And it's very simple. Get yourself situated to do whatever log we've asked you to do. Click the log to file button. You'll notice everything turns green. It's now recording a data log. Do the thing we ask you to do, whether that's an acceleration run, some idle, some cruising, some part throttle. Take your data log, and when you're finished, click the log to file button. Again, it will unhighlight, turn back to red with the green bar, and you'll be done with your log. Now those log files will go here. You go to your computer, you go to your my computer, your C drive, there'll be an EcuTech folder, and then there'll be a folder called map access logs. This is where all your log files will go and it'll have the name of your ROM ID and the date. These are what you'll need to email us if we ask you to send us data logs. All right, so that's how you set up your EcuTech tuner. Um, this process is going to be pretty similar for the FRS BRZ86. A little things are going to be changing. We're going to do the same process on the FRS or on our BRZ when uh, we install our HKS supercharger because we are going to tune it with an EcuTech. And a lot of you guys have been asking and waiting for that. Be patient. We're working on it. It's going to get installed. We're going to do an install video. So it's happening. So just a little bit of patience. Anyways, if you have any questions about EcuTech tuners, hit up that EcuTech website. There's a ton of resources. If you can't find it there, definitely send us an email and we'll point you in the right direction. Now, if you want to pick up an EcuTech tuner for cheaper, um, we're doing a sale right now. This weekend, the Memorial Day weekend sale. MDS10 is the code to use to save 10% off. However, some exclusions do apply, but you can use that on an EcuTech tuner and save 10%, so that's pretty awesome. With that being said, go out and enjoy your weekend. 
I'll see you guys in the next video. Your ECU. So that too. Uh, la, la, la. Go ahead and start that pause the video and keep it down. La, 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 la. Be simple. It's very easy. Um, uh, now the first step is going to be installing the tuning software on your laptop, and that that. God damn it.